What's going on everybody? I'm T. Pendel. Welcome back to T. Pendel Auto. So happy y'all back. Today I'm bringing to you accessories that you can buy for your Bronco that are all under $30. I did not stutter under 30 bucks and these accessories are needed so before we dive into it and, and start to install these accessories make sure y'all smash the like button subscribe and turn your notifications on if you haven't done so already there goes another airplane like every video a plane just flies through all right now y'all have a safe trip throw me down some peanuts or something all right so with the ford bronco um the door handles to get in the car there is no bottom to to them so if you wanted to hold things in here, put things in here, they would just slip right out of the bottom of the car door holder. So I bought an accessory you could pop in right here that'll hold anything you want to put in here. If I want to put my keys in here, I want to put a few coins in here, I wanted to put my phone in here, it'll sit. I have a pretty big phone, it's iPhone Max Pro uh, 13, so it still fits in here. But a regular phone, if I didn't have a phone case, I'm kind of afraid to even test this out. If I didn't have a phone case, yeah, this will just slip right through the bottom and I'll be over at Apple, hoping my Apple Care still worked. So we're gonna take care of that today. So we're gonna put some at the bottom to fix that today so things won't just be falling through the bottom. These are really simple. I'll show you guys uh, up close. First thing you wanna do, is make sure you put them on the right side of your car. This has an R at the bottom of it. And then it just pretty much has like 3M tape. So you put this on, give it like a day or two, let it settle in, and then you should be good. So let's do it. First, let me, let me push it in here and show y'all how it'll fit. Looks nice, looks really good. All right, so let's get this top red tape off first. Boom, bottom red. Now my car is pretty much brand new, I had it for like a week or two, but if you had your car for a while, I would definitely tell you all just to make sure it's clean up under here, no dust, no particles, because you want it to stick. And here we go. We're in, and we're pushing up. We're gonna make sure it's in there, seal tight. Hold it for about five to 10 seconds in each spot. And it looks good, it's flush, doesn't pop out. Nothing's gonna get caught, looks really good. So just to show you all, uh, this is the keys in here. Nothing falling through, nothing showing. Um, my phone again, sitting there nicely. Like I wouldn't ride around my phone like that, you could. Look at that, sitting right now, it's perfect. Not going to fall through. It's an affordable accessory that I'm gonna love. Um, and it's quick to put on, it's easy. Let's do the other door. And we're back, pushing up, holding, holding, looking good. No space in the inside at all. And there you have it. We have two underneath door holders now, so nothing to be slipping through. Gotta love it, you can put your ID in here, anything you wanna hold in here real quick, couple of dollars, couple coins, and you're all set. Let's move on to the next accessory under 50 bucks. All right, next up is a, had to make sure my address was not here. Next up is a glove box organizer. So boom, you pop your glove box and you got a bunch of stuff. Bronco gives you this, uh, some cool tool, tools to use. Uh, you got your manual. I got some stuff done in like a tent. So I have receipts in there from that. But this right here is your glove box organizer and that'll fix all this up and I'll be more organized in my glove box. Uh, God forbid I get pulled over, I need to access my eye registration and proof of insurance, or if I wanna grab a pen or just grab a piece of paperwork, I have an organizer in here to be able to access things quickly instead of just having stuff cluttered all over the place. And we have all been there. This is not a car junk drawer. So we're gonna stay organized and uh, we're gonna put this glove box organizer in right now. All right, so this piece has an L on it, so that's for left, I'm sure. This piece has a right, so that's for right. This piece has an F, so that's for front. And this piece has ABS on it. So that's figured out yourself. So let's get this thing rolling. So we have our part that says L, that just snugs in right here. And our part that says R, just snugs in right here like so. We have the front, right, and left. And then, so this must go this way like so. Slide that all the way in. And I think we're almost there. And we have an organizer, ladies and gentlemen. Snugged in there pretty tight. Looks good to me. Everything, all the greatness that Ford gave me. Boom, we'll throw that. Right up top here, boom. 
I'm gonna take my registration and everything I have in the envelope, fold it up nicely, put that here, and manual and everything else can be snugged right there. And there we go, organized. All right, so next up, um, we have like this side holder thing. So this would fit like a cell phone or keys or anything. Uh, you can use it, your passenger can use it. But basically I'm gonna take off the grip and put it right here and then put the grip right back on and you'll, you'll check it out. And the cool part about this, in this bag I just uh, put in the glove box organizer. Uh, Bronco gives us the tools that we need to pop this right off with ease. Boom, but it's important that I put it on this way because I've been. It's important that I put it on the right way because uh, that would have been terrible. Boom, that looks good. Get them on there tight, but not too tight. I don't want to strip them. Uh, and that feels pretty good for me. That looks good. And uh, I dropped my phone in here just for you all to see it. And a pair of shades. Look at that. All right, last but not least today, guys, we're going to black out the Bronco letters. I like the white letters, but something about this whole grill just being blacked out, I think it's going to look better for me. I thought about matching the paint color and doing a Russian green with the letters as well, but I went with black. I even thought about orange. Let's get to it. All right, we're coming with the alcohol first. We got a little rag. We're going to wipe them down before we put the uh, put the caps over top. And then we're going to make sure that we're, they're dry completely also before we do, do so. A little ASMR. <laughs> and then we're gonna go back over just to make sure they're dry. I know I say this in every video, I just wanna let you guys know everything I'm using in this video, links in the description. These just pop on top of the letters. So I don't have to take the letters off and it's just 3M tape. So I just wanna put emphasis on that as well. Links to everything is in the description. All right, I'm gonna come down here and get on you guys level. Um, can you see me? All right, so in this box, I have letter covers. Um, when I had my Range Rover, I actually had the letters actually taken off and put in, I put black uh, letters on. The letters were gray before, and I think I got it done by the dealership, and the letters were, I think, 20 or 25 bucks per letter. So I got Range Rover in the front taken off and Range Rover in the back taken off and put on. And the crazy part about it, they swapped the letters out, but they never gave me my silver letters back. They just held on to my letters. So um, we're going to do a, a more affordable route today, uh, see how it works, because I might want to put these black and see how I like it. Then I might want to go the eruption green, the color of my car, and see how I like that as well. Um, I also seen some cool things out where, you know, you have your lights. I've seen some people take this whole grill off and put the lights and the, the Bronco symbol and grill itself. I thought that was cool too. So that might be coming in the future as well. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section. I'm not out of breath right now. I'm just bending over. Um, this is a different position to hold a conversation. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do this. Uh, these, these go on by uh, 3M tape. Um, I'll pop one out of the plastic for you, just so you can see. Uh, I already wiped the Bronco down, uh, the bron the, each, all of the letters down with alcohol, and then I dried them to make sure they were dry. It's just 3M tape uh, on the back side, and these are the letters. So we're gonna take this tape off and get it rolling. I'm gonna run you guys a nice time lapse, and then I'll give you a final view at the end. Blacked out, blacked out completely, looking phenomenal. Tell me, what do you guys think? I've seen some people do like all black with a, a red letter or leaving one white or black, white, black, white. Uh, but I think the blacked out grill looks dope. Tell me what you think in the comment section. I'm happy with this.
hope y'all enjoyed this video. I had a phenomenal time. Make sure y'all smash the like button again. Everything I have showed you all in this video. Links are in the description. Don't be afraid to tell a friend to tell another friend about the channel. And if you're a Bronco owner, let me know your top three accessories in the comment section. All right, appreciate y'all coming through. I'll see y'all next time. T Pinda Auto, signing out. 25 a letter, crazy. It's crazy as <laughs> It's crazy, and I did it. I was just wasting money, bro. You just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, going. give me that. Yeah, I was like, yo, it was 20 bucks a letter, bro. Range Rover on the front, it was like two something, then Range Rover on the back, another two something. They didn't even get my great letters back. That's crazy. They went and put them great letters on another Rover. Probably. Got some extra letters, or sold them online. Easy. That's easy, easy cash.